And the reason it depends is because there's always going to be different people that want different things and there's always going to be content creators that provide different things. It's not an easy thing for me to compartmentalize and then delegate who or which content creator is going to cater to this type of viewer. Everybody's experience is going to be different. Not everybody's going to be your cup of tea as a viewer, as a content creator, right? For example, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. You know, if you've been around long enough, you, you know what kind of content I put out. And a lot of you guys actually enjoy that. Some of you guys don't. If you don't, stay away. Nubraids is my favorite. Yes, I think he's a generally, like I said, upbeat, positive guy. I do enjoy watching uh, his videos. I'm not a fan of his most recent a AFK Live Arena tip because that's kind of goes against what, what I believe in. And that's okay because people can disagree. Right? We're all humans at the end of the day. I prefer people who are just like unfiltered and themselves and they have their own personality, right? Everybody, every time you make content, if you're a content creator, you know that it's gonna take time for you to develop your personality and, and carve out the niche of who you are online. For me, it's it's not an easy thing to try to emulate something that you aren't. So like if you watch my, mo my, my earliest videos, I purposely like go out of my way to try to be more positive and, and upbeat, but that's not me. You can tell the difference between watching me back then versus watching me right now. Back then I'm very like, I've got a specific voice. I have a, a specific way of saying things, but now I've become more comfortable in who I am as, as an individual and uh, comfortable enough to share that with you guys uh, on the internet. And so this is who I am. So I have a lot of respect for content creators who do that kind of thing. Um, Sam, Sam Solstice is a really good content creator who does extremely well edits and she isn't afraid to say what she wants and show what she wants, regardless of any type of backlash. And that kind of thing I can respect, that kind of shit I fuck with. Particularly one of the reasons why I like Ash is because he's he's not just a positive guy, but he's so vulnerable on the internet and not in a bad way. Like you can relate to a lot of his his woes and the things that he, that he talks about. He's a tragic dude. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, his story is tragic as fuck. I was just like, damn, that sucks. But it's a very human thing. It's a very human experience. And that's part of why I really like Ash as a, as a content creator. These days, only two channels I watch regularly are Nub and Boozer. Yeah, exactly. The, the free to play, accessible to everybody experience. There are a lot of solid CCs in RSL, but in my opinion, these put out uh, these two put out the most consistent, high quality content that's relatable to all character or all people, all players. Yeah. Plus one for Boozer. The rest of the CCs, Ash, Smiley, are just concerned with pulling shards. And again, there's nothing wrong with that because if you're the type of viewer that likes to watch people who pull shards, well, guess what? Smiley and Ash are really good for pulling shards. Yeah, man, regarding Ash, I really like the guy and his moxie. That's a new word for me. But I can't take advice from a player that hasn't ran a single champion through Minotaur and hasn't even completed the Arbiter missions. The other thing I will say about this, uh, taking advice from content creators, just because you're, you're watching a content creator doesn't mean that their, their words are the end-all be-all of everything, right? We're human. We make mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. My description says, don't listen to me. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Half the time, I don't even know what I'm talking about. What am I talking about? I love my wife. You know what I mean? Ash has his other channels dedicated to reviewing every single champion in the game. Yeah, there's that too. Content creators such as myself have other channels that we deal with. Sam Solstice? Yeah, exactly. Nubs is my favorite. I can't stand Saf's personality. <laughs> so I, I did watch Saf quite a bit because he had some really intricate breakdowns and, and numbers for everything. The only issue I have with him right now is what he did and that has to do with hydra a lot of the people in the comments actually told me as well like yeah saf was the reason behind the hydra changes but damn his breakdown of various events have been extremely helpful yeah exactly you can't deny that he's got some helpful stuff like i went to him for early on sand devil probably helped my count more than any uh, any other i'm slurring my words sorry i just drank coffee and, and now i'm just kind of like uh, over my words more than any other cc Saf's math, testing, and facts, great best in the biz. Saf's opinions and speculation, not my cuppa. Saf from Hell Hades has the overall highest quality and most insightful post. Scratch for the overview of things, Boozer for the free to play uh, perspective, then for Live Arena, Cruisin', Biohack, and Shiny. Yeah, Biohack is a good one also. The first time I saw him, probably for Phantom Shogun. Big Pop Drock, absolutely. Just an overall great presence. Yeah, greatest thumbnails in the in the game too. Erroneous, <laughs> Giga Chad over here. Erroneous. I followed my butthole. I, I followed my bio. I followed. What the hell am I saying? I followed Biohack on BDO. 
and I know he plays Raid, but haven't seen any of his streams yet. Boozer's not free to play. Just remember as he gets the CC package, which breaks their accounts. But Boozer was free to play and wasn't a CC for a long time before joining the CC program. I don't think this is valid just because he was doing free to play content, uh, free to play content before becoming a CC. Only one of his accounts gets them. His perspectives are still equally valid. Exactly. Everybody is splitting hairs. Yeah, you're, you're splitting hairs at this point. Okay, Kara. Yeah, so let's move on. Nub is the most even keel CC out there and his Hydra vids were a godsend early on. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, Hydra is a really... I'm surprised nobody's mentioning HWZ. I, I, I watched HWZ um, back in his Twitch days. He was actually the reason why I became a content creator because I saw him doing it and I was just like, you know what? I, I see him doing his thing. It's very motivating. It's very inspiring for me. And to this day, HWZ is one of the, the only content creators that I, you know, uh, watch on a regular basis. If you're looking to understand the mechanics of the game better, HH Gaming hosted by Saf is really good for understanding the mechanics and nuances. I think those two are the best, yeah. Saf understands the game than Polarium for sure, but unfortunately, I struggle to get through his vids as they can be tedious and dull. His focus is not the same as the other CCs, so I'm not knocking him. I mean, it, it kind of just depends, right? If, if you're going there, if you're the type of viewer that wants an explanation and intricate breakdowns, I don't see anything wrong with this, but then I can understand where he's coming from, tedious and dull. Hell Hades is understandably more focused now, kind of checked out, and focusing on Godforge. Jay Giggs, free to succeed, is my favorite to watch. Just love his sense of humor, but he's not as knowledgeable as some of the others, and there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Jay Giggs is a funny guy great for entertainment but he also has a lot of things that he talks about that is relatable a lot of the complaints and woes that most of the community have are best represented by jay gigs now braids is really good he's on vacation oh this is an old video from like a month ago by the way. or old not old video old post from like a month ago game leap has been who's game leap boozer and cole red are both great do a lot of current upcoming events in game it's dated but hell hades free to play series has been top notch yeah cole red with the 50 minute wix will clan boss video where he overcomplicates things and can't make it work hey come on that was a one-off bronco yeah bronco is really good and bronco has a really good team that uh, helps him uh, construct a lot of the um, uh, like he's really good at putting that out there he really is someone who knows the game and has honest well-constructed opinions on many aspects he's always one of the first to deal new content changes buff nerfs uh nerfs currently his content is focused on hydra because it's the most valuable content with fewer content creators exploring it but whenever something relevant uh, re relevant comes up he makes a great video about it yeah isn't he the one who keeps laughing for no apparent reason it's hard to watch for me i don't know if he has a condition or just stress but it's hard to focus which is sad because he really seems to have his own original content i stole his it team a long time ago great stuff yeah, that's him. Editing is terrible. Oh, okay. Let's let's move on from that. For English, you have Nub Raids, Ash, DWJ, maybe Easy Hablas Español, Senda, Palo y Panceto. Vale? Ash is really good. High energy. Hell Hades is okay. Lots of good deep dive info. Presentation style makes it hard to watch the whole way through. Uh, Broken Not Dead. I don't think I've seen him before. J Gigs. Here's the free to play account. Here's how I got there other with other content creators with similar content above other than that you have a plethora of new player sponsored videos that seem to be everywhere boozer's my go-to efficient during fusions and events nubs is right behind boozer great personality news breakdown more input on fusions like the hero path breakdowns ash is great for entertainment value collabs yeah shout out to bronco started with hell hades i don't like raid streams yeah there's going to be different content creators who do different things. If you want the streamer experience, I suggest Twitch. I used to stream on Twitch and then I moved over here to YouTube. YouTube just seems to um, be easier for me to do. And I, I want to do more streams, but it's just not really my thing currently. Also, try checking out Twitch streamers. Yeah, hey, isn't that Zero Brew? It's great because you get live interactions and help the chat are participating in your uh, participating live to your questions. In my better, in my opinion, better than YouTube. The issue that I have with Twitch and why I left Twitch and moved to YouTube is because on Twitch it doesn't really last forever. You you can't really make uh, evergreen content on Twitch. It doesn't it doesn't stay there forever now some people might say oh you can make like highlights and, and, and whatever or you could do both yeah I, I get that twitch also has a plethora of other issues especially when it comes to ads and ad revenue especially now that they're dealing with back then when i was doing twitch they weren't paying as much as youtube was so obviously you know you pick and choose plus i just like the um i just like youtube overall uh better i like being able to keep things in one place and op indicated they prefer interaction of streamers yeah nearly everybody on this thread is offering suggestions for youtube content smh for arena cruising 
He's live every single day streaming, mainly live arena, but he's very interactive with you. If you ask questions, he's going to answer. I'm a three-year player, learned, learned a lot. Erroneous, mostly PvP, best elocution to listen to when he doesn't go on a list losing streak. Sorry, it happens. Nub and Boozer, news content, can't stand the other ones. I even blocked some of the, their BS, but mainly but many viewers won't notice all the misinformation they provide. This is also true. Again, don't always listen to content creators. Always double check, trust but verify. Let's see, Jay Giggs is hilarious. Cole Red, Ash, Cole Red plays. Ash is not my preferred choice. He's all style and very questionable substance. Twitch streamers, I enjoy. Grim Reaper, Freak Gaming. Yeah, Pogo, hey, shout out to Pogo. Zero Brew, shout out to Zero, Jesslo Gaming. Yeah, big guy. There are many others out there. You can see if any align with who you're looking for, then ask the chat. Speaking the truth, that Zero Brew, uh, it is Zero. That Zero Brew guy is funny AF. I may or may not be him. Underrated picks would be Soul Saint, Big Pop Drock. Soul is entertaining, upbeat, great energy. Drock is hilarious if you want to see a crack in rage, but he always speaks his mind, isn't afraid to call Polarium out on their bull. Does the game even have a good CC in general? Why are you watching then? Why are you here? If you don't like it, fuck off. All of them are shouty and use clickbait titles. Hey, let's just, just look at my stuff. Okay. Shouty and clickbait. Dislike this video, no really dislike it. I mean, clickbait would be you're expecting one thing because you see the title in the video and you don't get that exact thing. There are content creators who show you what the conversation is about and then shows it to you. Yeah, look at this clickbait, a bunch of zeros. Yeah, I mean, I understand a, a lot of people could say that there's content creators that, that do the whole clickbait thing. I would just say be the type of content creator that that doesn't, yeah, definitely clickbait. You got a picture of Diddy here and the alphabet in your title. You know what I mean? Or look at this one. It's just a picture of Warboy. <laughs> and this doesn't even have like a, like a title, just a period. I would say and remind you, and I've said all of this stuff before, this isn't new, but we always get new people. So I, I often like to repeat this thing. If you don't like a content creator, this is what you gotta do. You go here, you click the, these three dots, you click don't recommend channel, all right? Disliking the video isn't going to do anything other than giving them engagement. You're helping them, all right? If you wanna hurt a content creator, Click don't recommend channel. Just don't watch them, ignore them. That's how you hurt a content creator, right? So if you don't like somebody, just don't watch their content. You're doing yourself a favor and you're definitely doing us a favor. It always bothers me. It's annoying as shit to have people complain about content creators and then sit there and watch them. How are you gonna hate from the sidelines? How are you gonna hate from the bleachers? How are you gonna hate, but you're not gonna leave the stadium? Jay Giggs and Mr. Burrito Slayer are my favorite, yeah. I guess it really depends on what you're looking for at that time, right? Because they're each better at different things, and that is a fact. That's not an arguable idea, exactly. They've admitted it numerous times over the years. Oh, I like the way he says over the years. Now for favorite, that usually gravitates towards who you connect with the most, what you're in the mood for at the time, and who's the most popular, and pops up every time you type in something in, in Google because they're all great in their own ways or they wouldn't be some of the best content creators viewed for raid. I will say if you're going to look for guides on how to build, Ash and Yumi Love, yes, I do this with every single champion because what's the point of playing if you're not making the best build you can with your account? For fusions, I always go to nubs. He always breaks things down. Statistics and ratings, HH net network, speed tuning, clan boss Hydra, Deadwood Jedi. Now for free to play, there's no doubt everybody knows Boozer is the goat. Plenty more that I watch. Uh, Scratch, Murder Inc., yeah. YST, Layla. MTG, Chosen, Cruisin. I think Ash is a great personality. I've seen his channel, uh, gotten a lot of subs lately. It went from about 150 to 316K pretty fast. Yeah, that's because that's just, that's just the way that YouTube works. Um, once you grow, you just kind of always grow and it doesn't really slow down from there. But once you get to the point where you have your, you have your, your, your niche and your foot in the ground, your 10 toes in the ground, you only grow up and the YouTube algorithm is gonna keep pushing you out there as long as you're still making uh, good content. Scratch is loud, mostly covers end game content with insane stat requirements. Nubs is great too, bit full of himself, so it gets a bit annoying. How is he full of himself? What? There are a lot of smaller CCs that I believe are great. Yeah, don't forget about Farbstaff, the creator of RSL Helper, exactly. Oh yeah, Tyraku's a good one. Mobile gaming nerd, who? Corpica, I don't know who these guys are. We're going on a trip in 